let's start off with the typical question. What is your scariest moment? Scariest moment. Right, this <coughs> was the scariest moment with the funniest moment as well. With the horrible moment on the missions. Like everybody, so I have more questions after this. After this. But just last year was other Perry and I in New York. And then so what happened, we were living here in the same, the same place with other Seymour and other Teacher. Teacher. Yeah. So what happened, on, we came back from a district meeting, it's not from the sun, I don't know, something conference. And then I started to, to feel sick and started to throw up. And I got home like 5 p.m. and I couldn't like move, I was very tired. I called Sister Bar, said, Sister Bar, I can't like stand. Can, I need to, to rest. So I rest for the whole night, stayed home and started to like throwing up, throwing up all the time. And then that was Thursday. Friday was the same thing the whole day. I was I got some I don't know something. I couldn't like stand up and walk anything, just throwing up very weak. That was the whole day as well. At the end of the day I started to get better. Friday night, that's kind of bad, but other day true who lived with him like he he pees very hard <laughs> and he had like put like I don't know how it was like a huge thing and, and he put some paper and the toilet clogged. So that was during <laughs> summer time. <coughs> so I couldn't go to drop anymore. <laughs> it was like a horrible thing there. And then we couldn't be in the home because it was stinking very hard as well, very strong. I had to open the window and so I to have a lot of flies in the apartment, like huge flies. That was Thursday, like at the end of the day. I was getting better. I said, other Pereira, tomorrow we can start to work again. I'm feeling better now. So the next day, around like 5.30, I, I, I woke up and heard something like weird. And I look at the other Pereira's bed and she, he wasn't there. So I went to the kitchen and he was like laying down on the ground. He was throwing up as on a plastic bag. So I'm like, good, no, what is going on? I don't know, I got the virus as well. I was trying to throw up and I don't have a strain. Man, I couldn't go, who could, couldn't go to the bathroom, bathroom? To the bathroom? No, to the to the toilet because it was clogged. Like, oh, like flies in the apartment. And so, like, poor guy. And I was like feeling still like a little sick. Like six in the morning, we asked other cemetery to give us a ride to church. So we came to the church, and then six in the morning, said, "Just let us here. We're gonna stay here to go to the bathroom and rest until you feel better." I don't know. <laughs> so we came to church at like six, and the air conditioning was working very well. It was very cold in here. We just we had like our shorts and short sleeves, like just regular t-shirt. So we went to the bathroom and came back to the room. It was like very cold. <laughs> so we got some some big like clothes uh, to move over there. We started to like fire like trembling. So, man, we have like we were hungry at this time. Didn't have money. <laughs> Didn't have our cell phone with us. And then we couldn't go home because we were like throwing up in like number two as well all the time. Oh man. It was like man, oh, what gosh. is going on? So I tried to go, go back home around like 11 in the morning because it's feeling already or a little better. We got home, still like stinking so bad the apartment, the whole thing. Because it's like, still the electricity was stink there and then people, we had to throw up in the, the plastic bags. So we called the, the, the person that was in charge of the, the apartment and said, hey, there is no way to stay here, you gotta send some, someone here. We tried to call her the day before, she didn't answer. We left her and said, hey, you gotta help us, the toilet is clogged, there is no way to stay here. So she called and said, all right, in half an hour someone will be there. So, oh my gosh. So I to feel like bad again, like we go number two and she throw up both of us and say, man, what are you gonna do? There's no way to go to the bathroom. I can't like walk, I feel very weak, both of us. And then the guy wasn't coming, wasn't coming, you know, like, I can't, I can't hold anymore. <laughs> so I went to the, man, that was super bad, but there's like a big trash can. And then I had to walk there. <laughs> <laughs> the other got a plastic bag and put in the plastic bag. That <laughs> was like hell. <laughs> <laughs> that was a horrible stitch of my life, I guess, the worst thing. 
<laughs> and the guy wasn't coming, he said, I gotta go again, there's no plastic bag, there's no trash anymore. <laughs> Let's go to the Mosquito Park. <laughs> Oh, and then the mosquito park, and then in the bathroom, and then the guy, the guy came back, and then we were fine the rest of the day. <coughs> that was like the worst thing of my mission, I guess. <laughs> oh, the worst God. three days, then Sunday was the last day we took the sacrament, and then everything, everything came back. That was the worst, <laughs> wow. scariest. Oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> 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 Well, now just by the way, because I was a little frustrated with those, the last thing that happened last year, we closed all the, the windows and put some air conditioning in all the places, so no flies, no flies is here. <laughs> what was your favorite transfer and why? the favorite one just because we speak both like the same language Portuguese or Pereira we had a very good time and I don't know I was training him but we were just like both the same level and I don't know just because we I live in Portugal as well before and we already knew how most Portuguese people and he said that I my my way to act was the same as his father, and I really like him. I don't know, I just get very, very well along. I had like very, very well, very special transfers as well with other with other babies and long and all my companions like Jersey City, other Guinto, other Baron. Can't recall like everybody, but I have a lot of special transfers. But I guess the one just because. Other piece is Brazilian, but he speaks better English. He speaks amazing Portuguese, but I don't know, just because he was, Portuguese was his first language. We could be able to talk about it, I guess. I love you Americans, I love so much. <laughs> it's my favorite second country after Brazil. <laughs> but I still don't really know my first language. That's why I guess. What was your best baptism? Best baptism. Uh, I had a couple of favorites as well. It's hard to choose the best one. You can choose like the best one here. Is there the best one here in the city? Because was, I was longer. Here was definitely we were with his family, Ruiz and Martha. Yeah. The city right there. So we, um, we helped them to get married this year. And then I was uh, confirming him as a member of the church. And then I really felt strong, uh, prompted to promise him as if, if he would keep faith in the gospel, he would see his family getting baptized, his wife, which that she wasn't interested at by that time. And he would go to the temple, see him. And then I had the blessing to come back here and now help Martin to get baptized. And she said yes, that she's. They're very healthy, happy now. They're living together the same level, the same walking the same path. And that's and Luis is the brain secretary. He will definitely be the next counselor that watches leave next year. So he's growing so much, he's doing the pathway program. So he was one of great blessings and Jersey City was I love the picture I gotta show you. Sorry, show those people. Another love very nice. We were in Jersey City, Blue Point, and working. And, and one day on Saturday, we didn't have like just had a two member, two uh, investigator with a member for uh, with baptismal data. And then searching some people the day, like find some potential investigator, baptismal dates, like two, three. I said, Oh, what is going on today? We parked at one other people house that was a. Uh, Warmer. We got there, it was like almost 10 people. We live, I just talked to them yesterday, like a little kitchen like this, like maybe it's smaller than 
out there, mom too, is, is from here. They live like a lot of people in the same apartment. 